Kendra, I'm gonna put it like this. I was a dumbass. I drove damn near eight hours to go see a man and spent over $150 worth of gas. Okay. And then I was only there for like not even 24 hours. <laughs> I turned my ass right back around, not even 24 hours later. So what happened? What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. Okay, so you guys got the intro. Y'all saw what was going on. She met the guy, drove out there, gave up the cookie, and came back home. Eight-hour drive. What's going on, people? Why are y'all on the Kendra show if y'all have no control? Y'all want to meet somebody, but y'all give it up the first time you see them. So this chick now comes back on and wants to give a recap of her less than 24 hour. I don't even know what you want to call it. A little dingling thing, I guess. But either way, hit that subscribe, like, and share. And we're going to jump right into this. Let's go. Hello? Hey, Kendra! Hey, boo. Oh, my God. It's been forever. I've been trying to get on. So I'm new, but I also have an update for one of your past guests. So is this your first time here? Yes, ma'am. So you met a guest from my show? Mm-hmm. Well, what you about to spill? What you want to tell us? <laughs> It ain't, it ain't what he said is, that's all I'm going to say. Who's the, well, what do you want to tell me? You got to tell me. It was your guest from September 19th, Muhammad. Muhammad. Um, mm -hmm. I talk from to Atlanta. Atlanta. From where? From Atlanta. Give me more The white details. African guy. Oh, the white African guy. Hey, Kendra. Hey, boo. I'm doing, I'm right here cooking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get into it, Mohammed. What kind of woman are you looking for, babe? I'm looking for someone that has God fearing. I think that's the only thing I need. That's it? Come on, the seeds. She can Just look God. Way. She can have 10 kids, you don't care. Well, it don't matter whether you have two, three, it don't matter. Does the woman have to look a certain way, Mohammed? Chocolates. <laughs> you want a chocolate woman? <laughs> my 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 great grandmother. She's black like you. Oh, your good grandmother is black like me. My great grandmother. Your great grandmother is black like me. Yeah. So what? Is All right. Before they keep going, I don't see the attraction. I don't. Hmm. Now, he said he wanted a chocolate one, maybe in black, but he said like Kendra, but Kendra is darker complex, you know, like myself. So I don't, that girl is light and she got this hard Southern accent and he has this Middle Eastern accent. Like, I don't see it. I just don't, I just don't see it. I don't. Let's go. What is your nationality, Mohammed? I was born in Africa. My parents came from the Middle East to Africa like more than 20 years ago. Okay, okay. As a Muslim, when you bring two souls together, that's the most important thing that people don't understand. I gotta answer this question, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Been a while. Been a while. Are you waiting yeah. for a relationship? I'm looking for a wife. Looking for a wife? So okay. are you gonna I got my own place. I got a good income. I'm good. I'm looking for a wife. He looking for a wife. He got his own place, his own income. He's good. All he needs is a woman to share it with. Okay, now the lady know he's looking for a wife. So he's looking for something permanent. I don't think she was. None of these women, they never, you notice they never stick to their guns about what they want. They'll end up dating somebody totally what they're used to. Y'all ever notice that? And it never works out. Never works out. But they always just get caught up real quick. Within a weekend, they be locked in. And then the next weekend, they gone. 
Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Well, I think I'm a, I'm a hardworking guy, I'm a provider. Yes, I'm right there. You're a hardworking guy, you're a provider? I'm a provider and uh, I'm down to earth. You're down I'm to earth? A, I'm not a rich man, but my heart is very rich. He's not a rich man, but his heart is rich. Ooh, child. You came with all the words tonight, Muhammad. <laughs> Can you date him? We were talking or whatever or whatnot, but it ain't it ain't all what he said it is. So put put the put the phone well, in. Well, she keeps um, saying it. Oh, I'm on my laptop. Can you hear me? Yeah. So what is it not all what he said it is? <laughs> I just feel like like what he said he was looking for. He's not looking for. What is he? What is he not? not looking so for why? did you represent what he said he was looking for? Pretty much besides the age range or whatever or whatnot. Like, I, Kendra, I'm going to put it like this. I was a dumbass. I drove damn near eight hours to go see a man and spent over $150 worth of gas. Okay. And then I was only there for like not even 24 hours. I turned my ass right back around, not even 24 hours later. Didn't I tell you? They all do the same thing. Now, this gets me with these some of these guests. They always do the traveling. I haven't heard yet a guy travel to them. They always travel to the guy. And I wonder why is that? They all do. The girl went to see the truck driver. She did something. Another girl drove somewhere else to meet this guy. But... Uh, but you come on here and say y'all want all this stuff, but you then you turn around and just you get with your normal. You know what I mean? So it don't make sense. So what happened? I just got a bad vibe. It's like when I got there, everything was all cool, but I can't because of the stuff I've been through growing up and whatnot. I can't like be around people with like I feel like their energy is off or whatever and whatnot. I just feel like. He just started saying, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. So I'm like, that's like. It's that damn voice, man. Good God. I'm frowning up just listening to her voice. God dang it. Where, you, where is she from? You stressed about what? Like, I just got here. Like, what the hell you stressed about? I so so that's like. It. She turned okay. up and she got there. Is it, is it fair that maybe he met you? And didn't like you? Is that is that me? Honestly, Kendra, I I don't know what it is because he claims that he likes me or whatever and whatnot. Like he was all over me when I got there or whatever. So when I got back home, because he tried to talk to me before I left, but I'm just one of those type of people. If I just feel like you're acting funny, I'm just gonna call a spade a spade. I got my own transportation. I'm gonna go on about my business or whatever and whatnot. But of course he's Muslim, I'm Christian. So I don't know much about the Muslim way or whatever. So I guess it also triggered him when I went to the store by myself. But my family who also practice the same religion as he does was all, all like, well, this is where he probably got upset. And so I was like, I text, I called, I was like, so are you mad because of this? And he was like, yeah, you disrespected me. like. I'm 29, like, what the hell? We going to the store 10 minutes away. But I'm not going to spill all his thing on little. Okay, so let me tell y'all what, now, ladies, something about that. You traveling to another town, another city, or wherever it is, you can't go out like you are at home. He's telling you it's after 10 o'clock, don't go out by yourself. You want to go because you feel independent and you don't need nobody. And he's trying to tell you a lady's not supposed to be out that late by herself, especially in this neighborhood. But instead of you listening to this man trying to protect you, you get mad. You see what I'm saying? So that's how y'all doing when someone that know trying to tell you, but you don't want to hear it because you don't want nobody telling you what to do. That's why he's getting tired of it. She's in there running that mouth, and he's like, oh, my God, what I got myself into. Now, let's know what that's, that's like sometimes. 
It's like, shit, I got to get her up out of here. Yeah, that's what done happened here. Let's go. Girl, you came up here. Get it ain't all of you. So they want Kendra. I got one more final question and you don't have to answer, but since you brought it up, cause I wouldn't know anything. Well, we wouldn't know anything unless you told us. Did y'all sleep together? We did. God dang it. Okay. So when's the last time y'all communicated? Um, Last week. Oh, so y'all are still talking? Not really. Like it hasn't been communication since Monday. Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Well, how do you think he's going to feel when he watches this back? I really, I'm, Kendra, I'm at the point, I don't care because, like, I, that's why I said I'm not going to be, I'm not going to bash nobody because if he's going through personal problems like he said he is, okay, it is what it is, but be a man about it. Like, I ain't going to talk shit and be like, like oh, bitch, <laughs> I ain't going to do none of that. I'm gonna be respectful. I'm gonna be mature. I'm not gonna be super petty. What is going on? What is what's up, ladies? Y'all, shit. What is going on here? You literally met the guy less than 24 hours, and you come back to talk smack about the whole situation, but you gave it up within 24 hours. What the f is going on here? So you get there and he all over you. You done gave it up. He tell you not go to the store late at night by yourself. You get mad, jump in your car and jet back home. Now you're back on Kendra talking halfway smack because you keep saying, I don't want to say what not, you know, whatever that crap she keeps saying. Something ain't right, man. This girl ain't right. Y'all let me know. Is it me or is it? Something's not here. Something's just not here. Oh. Okay, honey. Let me get, let's talk about you for a second. What is your name, honey? My name That's crazy. Kendra just now getting to asking her some questions. I don't know how long this video been running. What, 12 minutes? <laughs> My name is Alexa, like the Amazon speaker, but because of all the jokes, everybody call me Lex or Lexi. So what do you want me to call you? You can call me Lexi. It's fine. Lexi from where? I'm from Florida. Okay, that, that's, that's where you live? Yes. I yeah, used to live in St. Pete, but now I live in Spring Hill, Florida. And you're 29, correct? Yes, ma'am. What do you do for a, a living, Lexi? I am a team lead, so I'm a baby supervisor. A team lead? Yeah, team lead. Yes, ma'am. Lexi, Florida, 29, team lead. Um, When's your birthday or zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus on so May 2nd. Taurus, May 2nd. Um, and um, okay, I think I got it all. Lexi, what part of Florida? Spring Hill. Spring Hill. So, Lexi, Florida, 29 is a Taurus, a teen lead. Oh, do you have any kids? I do. I got two beautiful boys, or what two handsome boys? boys, shall I say. How old are your boys? My oldest is nine, my baby is seven. Nine and seven. Okay, boo. Uh, what kind of same dad? No, different dads. Different dads. You co parent? Yeah, but you can kind of say they got the same dad because my oldest, his dad helps out with the youngest one because that's just how he was raised. So, gotcha. Why y'all say that? Just because he's being nice because that's his kid's sibling. That don't mean he's the kid father. Where is the kid's father? Y'all ladies do this shit all the time. You got a good dude come through, you try to put all the kids on him. What? Why y'all do that? She just skipped over the first kid's father or whatever kid's father and said, well, he's like the father. He do for him all the time. But he's so nice that y'all ain't together. Why aren't you two together? See what I'm saying? Oh, I know what I'm saying. All right, but what kind of man are you looking for now, honey? <laughs> I want to 
somebody that's going to be honest, upfront, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Like, if you got a wife, don't don't contact me because, bitch, we ain't having it. Because I fight wives, I fight baby mamas, I fight them all. So, no baby mama drama, no wives. You married, you better go get divorced before you try to talk to me. Okay. You better be on your shit, have your own money, your own transportation, your own house. Ain't no living with your mama or whoever. Okay, okay. Pity have kids. Hold up. Why is she so masculine acting? I mean, she's just acting so hard. Like, you look very short. You're not going to do much to anybody. You don't like you're in the best shape, but you coming hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, raw, raw, like that raw, raw type thing going on. I don't know if she think it's cute or what. And very mouthy with it. It's like aggressive. You know what I'm saying? It's just ladies, I know y'all, I know y'all want to be strong and independent and all that. But sometimes that is a big turnoff. Well, not even sometimes, all the time. That's a turnoff. It really is. I I mean, y'all really need to stop that. That's not cool at all. She sounds corny as hell. That's fine. Do you want more kids? I do. You do. Okay. Have you ever been mm -hmm. married? No, right? I have. Oh, you have been married. Do you want to get married mm -hmm. again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's now, the I'm assuming you know, you like to drive, so they don't have to be in Florida. Yeah, they don't have to be in Florida. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? Wait a minute, Kendra. You just skip over. She had a husband. She got two baby daddies, but she only brought up one. You must be in a hurry to get her up out of here because you ain't asking her all the questions. Like, where, where's your husband? Because you didn't say he was one of the baby daddies. You don't notice that, right? Now, before or after? Hmm, a lot of questions here. Lexi? Huh. He can't be ugly. Oh, wow. No okay. ugly people. <laughs> no ugly people, but looks really don't matter. As long as he's not ugly. I done dated somebody that was well overweight. Um, so, yeah. Color don't matter. As long as he's not ugly. That's all I'm going to say. Now, now y'all be going crazy if a guy come on in and say, as long as she's not fat. She can be anything else, but just don't be fat. And everybody would go ham. You see how she see how it goes? She said long thing ugly. Look at you. Long say not ugly. Weird shit, man. Um, okay. Does he gotta make a certain amount of money? I would say gotta make more than me, or at least what I make. So I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna, cause I don't like to put numbers on people, but I'm gonna just sit there and say that a man should at least try to make 40 and up a year. Okay, 40 and up a year. Um, and then what's the age you wanna date? What's the age range, honey? Well, I generally like older men. Um, so I'm gonna say up. I'm gonna yeah, count yeah. off at 50. Oh, you like older men. So what's the age range? You're, it went out for a second. 30 and up, and I'm capping off at 50. Can't be over 50. Can't be over 50. All right, Lexi, give me the Kendra cam. Oh, let's see. I'm short. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can manage. I'm short. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Maybe if I sit it down let's here. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm a little short. So That's all Kendra said. Okay. Do you want more kids? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right. So is it fair to say, well, you don't consider Muhammad a relationship, right? We were supposed to be in one, but <laughs> Kendra, I'm a Taurus. You know how we get. So I'm like this. When I feel like you being uh, being some sort of way, I'm just gonna be like, fuck you, fuck it, fuck everything. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, well, let's just get clarity. Did he call you his girlfriend? I'm a Taurus. 
And uh, now I do, we do get where if it ain't cool, whatever, we can just walk away, most of us. But that attitude with the, all the effort, the effort, the effort, you grow out of that. By the time you're 29, 30 years old, that's when you're young. When you get to 30 years old, you shouldn't be still talking like that. And she got kids and all this. You're trying too hard to sound young. You know what I mean? And you're looking older. And you're trying to sound like these young girls out here. So it's coming off weird. Real weird right now. Like you're trying real hard to either be funny or trying to get a point across. And I don't know which one it is. But it's weird as shit to me. Just everything in that accent is throwing me off. Like, we sat there, like, I, I sat there, we sat there and said it. He was calling me his future wife. Even when I got there, he was like, oh, you're almost home. You're almost home. And then even when I sped off, he texted me, baby. So. So why What's did you the, think? So I'm, I'm confused. I am too. Because you started off saying that, okay, so you spent a weekend with him? Not even 24 hours, Kendra. And how many times have you seen him in life? We talked every day on the phone. We video chatted every day. How many times have you seen in person in life? Once, Kendra, once. And, 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 and you feel as though that was a relationship? No. That's what I'm saying. Like, we were supposed to be. Then he was like, of course, you know, his little thing. He was like, whoever he decides to be with, he wants them to relocate. I don't care if a man wants me to relocate as long as we're going to be together and be married and I don't mind relocating. My job goes anywhere, so. But I'm not going to yeah, say I consider that a relationship because that's not a real relationship to me. All right, so what was Oh, I'm nuts for real. Okay, yeah, okay. She is very, very exhausted. Even Kendra just like, whew, okay. I could see why old dude was like, okay, I need to get her up out of it. Like, something wasn't right. She probably got there and, like, tearing him up with just the verbal assault. Cause it's hard for me to just sit here and just listen to it. Cause I was like, you know, I just want to tell her, shut the F up, man. Shut up. Go eat some ice cream or something. Damn. Just stop talking. You can, uh, you can say whatever you want. What I hold it down. I'm good. What happened? What I miss? Oh, somebody over there in the comments talking about she nuts for real. Oh, yeah. I don't get no crazy check. So I must not be too goddamn crazy. No, you just or maybe they no. don't know your address. I'm a supervisor, the fuck, the fuck, so I can't be too goddamn crazy. Good point. Kevin Samuels always say that uh, when y'all with your bosses, your Caucasian bosses, you know how to talk to him. I guarantee you she doesn't go to work and talk like this. So when you go and meet somebody or talking to your partner, why are you talking to him like that? There was a discussion we had weeks ago around here. And it's like um, ladies will talk to your supervisor and your boss and your employees with etiquette and respect. Get off that phone, get off work, walk in the other room and have the harshest words and mentality towards your partner. And it's like, wait, wait, wait. So the people that don't do jack for you you got all respect in the world. I'm going to talk to them politely. And the person here that's working with you trying to make something out of life, you're going to talk to me like that? Nah, some ass backwards here. That's what I'm saying. Some y'all, some of y'all's, some of y'all customer service reps, see, y'all nasty as shit when y'all get off that phone. But when y'all on the phone, y'all polite, y'all doing it by the book, got the soft tone voice. But when y'all out here and on Facebook and all these Instagram talking about stuff, y'all mouth nasty and foul. And y'all know you are. And y'all know what I'm talking about. This one of them right here. Look at him. All right. Back to you, Kendrick. <laughs> Look, see, that's why I said I got a little, I got a little slick ass mouth. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. when was your last relationship to you? Almost two years ago. So, I don't know. Was Muhammad the last person you slept with? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, and that was September. Yep. Okay. All right. So why do you? Well, no, think November. You? We're in November. 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 Oh, you slept with him recently? Yeah. Oh, when did you see him? We're November is only we're only what a couple of days. Well, when did you see him? Last weekend. Oh, last weekend. Not this weekend that just passed, but the weekend before. So, so the first so weekend. This one. So he okay, he was the last yeah. person. Okay, but you're mm -hmm. done with him. You're trying to meet somebody new. Yeah, because I ain't got time to play Kendra. Two weeks. You go meet the guy. Sleep with him that night, go back home, fall out with him. Well, you fall out with him, go back home. A week and a half later, you're back on the show looking for somebody else. Now, y'all tell me, do these women really be looking for someone? Or are they just looking for the D? Let's be real. <laughs> It's just a dating show that turned into one of these um effing apps. And y'all know what I mean. Y'all just go on these apps to find it and go get it. This makes no sense, man. No sense. And that's a mother too now, two boys, and you out here doing this mess. Just chasing the dinglings. That's it. She. Ain't, oh she ain't got I no need to play. get some therapy. I already got a therapist, and I'm good. Like, what the fuck do you mean? I need to get some therapy. Fuck wrong with y'all, dumbass people. Like, call my therapy. Yeah, like, no, just because somebody no. being real don't mean that they need therapy. I'm good. My therapist live in Florida. Mm. We keep it real all the way 100. What the fuck? And it's oh. whatever, Kendra. I ain't got time for your little sidelines over there. <laughs> she calls you comment people with the sidelines. Um, when, why do you think you're single, Lexi? Crazy. Well, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be honest, because I just feel like because I'm young and I date older guys, and I hold it down, and it is what it is. Like men look for that. Like they sit there, they get too attached, and then I'm just like this. I'm very fucking vocal, like. If I feel like you're mistreating me or I feel like you're just doing something that I'm just not okay with, I'm going to be vocal about it. And then I'm like this, just the way I was brought up, I was raised around boys. So you sit there and say anything violent to me, I'm going to get violent. She's going to get violent. I, what, what if whoa. they don't say anything violent? Um, that's a, that would be, I would be cautious that's, if someone told me that they're going to get violent. Why she had to go to the extreme to somebody say something to her? Muhammad didn't say anything violent to you. And you packed up and left. All he asked you not to go out after 10 by yourself. And you packed up and left. Stop going to the extreme, ladies, to try to get your point across. She could have easily just said someone talking nice to her. Everybody don't. I mean, if you're meeting everybody and they're going off on you, it's because you bringing that energy. The whole conversation has been nothing but energy from her. Just a very aggressive energy that is not inviting. Let's put it that way. I wouldn't want nothing to do with that. Ten minutes in the house, I'm like, whoa, you got to go. All that cursing and all that, I can't take you nowhere with me. No, my, my people can't be around you like that. Uh-uh. Well, I'm saying like this, Kendra. If a man sit there and get violent with me, Cause you know how some men are. Some men that sit there like if they don't like the way a woman is talking or they don't like something that you're doing. That's crazy man. They may sit there and say, "Oh, I'm gonna." Cause I don't been in an abusive an abusive marriage or whatever. Dealing with me, then he better be prepared because I was raised around boys. We can't see your we can't see your face, Lexi, honey, in the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Yes. Okay. Uh, when did you get divorced? What? It's been over. It's been over three years. And you say your ex husband was abusive? Yeah. Well, I'm happy you got out of that. All right. Wait, 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 wait. The kids. She says it's been over three years. So three years ago, you were married. Your kids are nine and seven. 
Hmm. I'm assuming they're not his. But okay, you had a bad marriage, but he's not here to say his part. She could have been the aggressor. From her behavior, I'm kind of thinking they might have been 50 50 on this fight. I'm just saying because she is very, very aggressive. A lot of masculine energy coming from this chick. You know, she's like one of the dudes that just be coming at you to the point you're like, damn, dude, you don't step back. I'm going to knock the shit out of you. You know, y'all ever been around that kind of stuff? You trying to chill and dude just keep coming to you? You're like, all right, dude, man, chill the fuck out. I'm chill, I'm chill. All right, then sit your ass down, man. That's how she comes at you. Um, did I ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Lexi? Well, I'm hardworking. I can... I take care of the house. I do whatever I need to do as a woman. I make sure my man is looking right. Make sure my man on point. Make sure the whole household on point. It is what it is. Like, I'm not going to go too much into detail, so. All right, let's 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 do it, Lexi. Give them your, um, how you want them to reach out to you. Um, my Facebook man. Well, Lexi, I appreciate not your today. transparency. And if Muhammad decides to call me up with his version to the story, I will have to listen to it. Muhammad, oh, call. I don't care, Kendra. I don't care. You call Muhammad. Up. You can put us on a conference call if you want. I'm ready for all the tea and all the smoke. See, that's what she wanted. To do. <laughs> she wanted to argue and fight. Um, I got one petty question. It's a petty question. Yes. Argue and fight. Was the sex good? I'm going to plead the fifth. Okay. I ain't night. answering that. Good night, Lexi. Bye, Lexi. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Okay, 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 Lexi. All right, guys, what do y'all think? What do you think? I think she's full of crap. I really do. I really do. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. Something wrong with this chick from up to down. I just don't get it. How y'all can cry for a dude. Y'all come on these shows, give this whole lineup. Some of you have a list. And then as soon as somebody get in that DM that look decent, y'all go with it. Y'all drive 100 miles to see them, sleep with them, and you're back on the show because the dude stopped talking to you. You know why he stopped talking to you? Because you gave it up as soon as you got there. Simple as that. Muhammad going to go find somebody else. That chick, and that's why Kendra said maybe he didn't like you after he got to know you a little bit. Because you went there with a lot of energy. Because you couldn't even sit still. You act like you own something. Or Adderall or some shit. But nah. We can't do that. Can't. Guys, that's all I got. I got to get up out of here. Don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, share. And definitely hit that notification to get what? The next video that pops up over here. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.